Hello guys, Mike here, Desirous Prime, with something a little different. Um, what I'm planning on doing is rebooting RCW. Now, for those of you that don't know, and there weren't many that did know, to be honest, RCW was this little WWE games created fed that I started on um, WWE 12. And it ran through WWE 13 and 2K14. And a number of reasons why I stopped doing it, I... um got myself a job and basically the main problem was I became too ambitious with it. Started out small, roster of 30 or something, academy roster of about 20, but then the academy roster grew and then the main roster just expanded to a um, stupid bloody level. I had a brand extension, I had both cha two world championships, I'd just done that towards the end. I had two sets of tag team championships, two mid-card, three mid-card, I think. It was going to be two. Hardcore and Continental. And then I had all the, whatchamacallit, the Academy Championships. This match is a last man standing, it's Dazaras versus Strut Bowler. Desirous is my core that I've been using for many years now. <clears throat> the, um, yeah, like I was saying, it just got too big. And I was, I never recorded the weekly shows. And there was four weekly shows, five even. You had RCW Heatwave. And then you had RCW Revolution. And the companion show for Heatwave was Breakout. And the companion show for Revolution was Renegade. Then you had RCWA, the Academy Show. Um, I never recorded the weekly show, well, I rarely recorded the weekly shows. I did it every now and then. Just to showcase some things like the brand extension. I recorded the weekly shows for that. The Cybermania voting, I recorded the weekly shows for that. Um, it just... I recorded it through my laptop. It was on the Xbox 360. And... There was, you know what the WWE games are like, they've got bugs and shit, and it, you know, eventually, your mood kind of sours on the whole thing. And I've been playing these games yearly since about 2001, 2002, until last year I didn't actually buy 2K15, I just flat out didn't, I just stopped, and I got roped into buying 2K16 on PS4. And that's where it's going to be. Um, that's where it's going to go. The reason it's a reboot is because A, the rosters were too big, too many shows, too many championships, too much going on. And, you know, my ambition outweighed my drive in the end. I had all this stuff I wanted to do. Never got around to doing it because it was just, it stopped being fun. It's, um, you know, I was on 360, uh, and I'm on the PS4 now, which is another reason. If you go to my old channel, um, type in Renegade Championship on YouTube, um, then you'll, you'll notice the differences, like, between this Tazaris and, this Tazaris and the, um, original Tazaris aren't remarkably different. Um, entrance attire, yes. Uh, face paint's a bit different now, there's different textures on his um, outfit. But there are other characters that look a lot different because the different structures in um, creation structures and parameters in 2K16 on the PS4 as opposed to the Xbox 360, because my son has the Xbox 360 version. I bought him it for Christmas, and it's got everything that I used to have. I could recreate pretty much, piece by piece, my entire roster on the Xbox 360 if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that because I've started on the PS4. I've got new arenas, I've got new looking wrestlers, new wrestlers, I've renamed some, I've had to make some, some look pretty similar, some look quite different, and 
I don't get it. I'm, I'm not even going to go into a thing about why the Xbox 360 version still has Inferno matches, special referee, I quit, backstage brawls when the PS4 version doesn't. I'm not going to go there because it it's something that would just wreck my mind if I even tried to think about that. So going forward, there won't be five shows, there will be one. And it'll start off with just RCW. It's not Revolution, it's not Heat Wave, it's just RCW. And, you know, there are still problems in this game. If you look in a sec, bust him open by twatting him in the back. Yeah. But, um, it's just going to be the weekly RCW show. You've seen bits of the new arena. It's different to the old arena. It's got a bit of bits that I was going to use for the updated arenas in the old RCW and but it's new arenas I've gone back to the red uh, red was the generic universal RCW colour then each brand had its own colour so I've gone with that um, one weekly show I'm not going to do it in real time because otherwise I'll only get so many shows out plus I've got me other projects and I've got work and I've got family and stuff like that so I will probably record a bunch and there's a thing here where I actually was still learning about this stuff, the PS4 recording, because I don't have to mess around with capture cards or anything, which is what I had to do on the old game. Um, PS4 recording, I didn't realise it was only 15 minutes per clip. And so the game, the match, stopped recording. I've got the end of the match, that didn't miss much, but... Yeah, it was a bit of an inconvenience. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. Uh, so one show a week. There'll be pay-per-views every two months. I say pay-per-views. You're not actually going to pay to watch them. I'm not going to charge you. And I will bring in an Academy show. Now, the Academy show is... Um, Mr. Wilf78, or 1978, my mate Wilf, he, um, former RCW champion, he had his own little fed called NGW, Next Generation Wrestling, which was kind of like, RCWA was like RCW's NXT, and his was like the Florida Championship Wrestling, the FCW, the feeder group. They'd go from NGW through to RCW. We never actually got around to doing anything with that, which is a shame. Um, <clears throat> however, we have decided in this to combine the two. So RCWA and NGW will now be rebooted under the NGW banner. Now, I'm not recording the full shows. Um, I'm not even sure. I'll probably start RCW before I start NGW, to be honest. Um... What I'll be doing is I'll be doing highlight shows each week. I will set up my card. I'll record all the matches. Now, the best match of the night, regardless of where it is on the card, will be shown in its entirety. The other matches will just be shown with highlights, and I'm probably going to do narration over the top. No accents, no silly voices. Um, I'm still figuring stuff out, because on the old games, I used to merge story designer with universe. And there's, in a way, it's a blessing because there's less for me to do in terms of that because I haven't got to worry about writing scenes and stuff like that. But it does have to make me, I do have to think about other ways to do it. And I've seen some pretty effective ways on YouTube involving still images and promos over the top of the still images. I might try something like that. Uh, but that's the format it'll be. I generally do a five match card. So five matches will play and it's not a case of whichever match is the best and plays in its entirety will go at lap the end I will just keep it in. if the opening match is the best match on the card I'll show that full if the mid match match three is the best one that will be shown in full in match three slot I'm not going to mess up the sequence or anything like that now, I mentioned um, Cybermania voting a while ago. Uh, there'll be no Cybermania because there's no point. The 
I don't have a big enough audience to warrant doing an interactive show. So I'm not going to do that. Um, they'll, I don't think I'll be doing a Money in the Bank match. I might just do one. I don't have a pay-per-view scheduled for when Money in the Bank would be. The pay-per-views will be January, March, May, July, September. And maybe November. But I've got plans for a um, for the November pay-per-view slot, a crossover pay-per-view with the UWA, which is where Desiris was when before he comes back to RCW or comes to RCW. It's kind of funny. I do um, mainly nowadays. I do my Dark Savior stuff, which is my DCUO YouTube series, and I've kind of opened up the multiverse on that. So I kind of think of the old RCW with Heatwave Revolution, that's like my art, Earth 2 RCW, that's retcon. it never happened in this particular thing. I might even use Dark Savior to promote this a little bit. Maybe have Deserax watching Desiris or some shit like that, for fun. Um, obviously when I do my narration for the um, events, I'll put a bit more into it. I've, I've had a long day, um, you know, it's been Chris, just come off Christmas. I've come off a night shift, I am tired. So I'm just going through this as best I can at the minute. Uh, yeah, the pay-per-views. Um, there'll be no Renegade Rumble anymore. I've decided not to do the Rumble. Because... Who doesn't do the Rumble? Everyone does the Rumble. I don't want to do the Rumble anymore. Besides, I heard there's a glitch in Universe where you can actually do the Rumble in your created arena, but only in Universe. I don't want to go through that hassle, so I've come up with something. Um, unsure exactly what month I'm going to start it in on the universe calendar. I, on the old games, I had Uprising in March, so I would like to have Uprising in March still. So my the new RCW reboot would probably start in December because of the um, Ascension tournament that I've set up. No, it's not. The members of the Ascension compete in a tournament and the winners face the Ascension. It's nothing like that. Um, it's pretty much, it's a bit like a World Cup sort of thing. You've got four groups of three wrestlers. Each wrestler fights each other once. Uh, three points for a win, one point for a draw, no points for a loss. Whoever's got the most points, basically you've got a total of six points to be earned. Before the um, final group match which will be a triple threat for a bonus 5 points, credit to my friend Ben for helping me with this so you've got potentially 11 points to be earned only the winners from each group will progress so 4 winners will progress into the semi-finals which will open up the Ascension tournament and then the final at the um, main event of Ascension now the um Group matches will be played over the course of the weekly TV shows. And it, yeah, there's a bit of a stupid thing here. I should have tombstoned in there. Um, and then the winner of the Ascension Tournament will basically go on to the main event of Uprising, which has always been my main pay per view. Now, because this is the first year. The um, winner of the Ascension Tournament, the first one, will be crowned the first RCW Champion. When I left off the game in um, 2K14, Sean O'Savory was RCW Champion. Um, his records won't count. No one's... Sorry, sorry, we can mute that. No one's previous records will count. Um, the only records I have will be from my UWA history that Ben did with his reboot. Apparently I've got a good few title reigns there. So I've got a bit of stock coming into RCW. So that's pretty much all I've got to say at the minute. I will go through the roster at some point once it's completed. And 
There's no Renegade Rumble. Ascension will be the January pay-per-view. The winner of the Ascension tournament in the first year will become the first RCW champion. Maybe the runners-up will, from the other matches, will go into the um, Intercontinental or US title thing. I haven't decided yet. Um, going forward, the winner of the Ascension tournament will go into the main event of Uprising and face the RCW champion. And it will be the main event, it will be the last match on the card. I don't care what anyone says. But yeah, it's going to be exciting, for me anyway, just to try out this new format and see what's what and how it works. I think um, I've got everything covered there, so yeah. I hope you enjoy what I've got coming forward. Um, if you don't, that's fine. I never had a really big audience for this anyway, so yeah. Uh, excuse me. You shall see me next time. Here is your winner, representing the Faces of Fear, The Savior. Well, that one was over before it even started. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. The crowd here tonight certainly seemed to appreciate the efforts. What a great match.